Hi there, welcome back. Um, last video we was talking about the corrective lane shapes and we did this um, range of motion that we're gonna use to model our uh, blend shapes. So we will start with the t-shirt and the uh, arms and later we will do the, the, the trousers or the pants because this one it's uh, asymmetric so uh, I want to talk about that later. As for the moment we will do the, the easiest part that is this one that is symmetrical and also the, the arms with the finger. So in this video we will do this corrective blend shapes. We will not connect anything yet, just doing the blend shapes. And these blend shapes are not gonna be uh, the best possible. It's I will try to keep it as fast as possible so uh, the video is not so boring. And of course to do this corrective blend shape we will use a uh, shapes tool. Uh, Shapes Tools is, is not a free plugin, uh, however you can uh, try it for free and it's completely functional. And yeah, if you want to use it for production, please buy a license because it's worth the money. It will save you a lot of time and it does a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's back to work. I'm going to start with the, I'm um, just going to hide my controls and start with the t-shirt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, well, I already have opened my shapes here. So I'm gonna load the mesh and go for the first pose that is this one here. So here I'm gonna just adjust a little bit the shoulder. I think it's a bit bulky. So we go here on the edit mode. Uh, I'm not gonna go to explain all the features in shapes, I think, um, Ingo did a really great work to document everything on his uh, channel, on Vimeo channel. So please go to the website uh, to check the more uh, in deep, um, in deep uh, tutorials for how to use uh, shapes. I'm just gonna go and explain what I need for, for the moment I'm working on that. So just edit here and it activates uh, the brush, uh, shape brush thing. And normally it isolates everything. If you don't want, um, you can remove the isolation. I have a shortcut for that. So you can see with your character how it's looking. So I'm just gonna do something here. I'm not gonna go crazy here, just a little adjustment and maybe relax a little bit this. And I have a little shortcut to remove the visibility on the wireframes. So it's easier for me to see better the volumes and so on. I kind of like more the, um, C brush um, shaders than uh, the default Maya ones, like the matcap thing. It's easier to visualize um, the uh, well, the details on the on the volumes. Here, it's sometimes it's a little difficult. Let's say. Okay, I'm just gonna go here and just try it with the other brush. I like more for when it's a low topology, uh, I mean low resolution like this one, it's not super high, even it's a fair amount. Um, I like the, the classic artisan brush. Um, I found sometimes like hard to control the um, the brushing with the new sculpt tools. It's, um, I don't know, it's something probably I have to research more but um, yeah, I found that it's working better with higher resolution, but with low one, it's hard to, to get anything. I guess I'm just going crazy, just a little smooth and I'm just moving a little bit as for the example. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's exit here. We can check So the, the difference. And it's a good habit to um, name this. So I'm just gonna call this, um, I don't know, shoulder or arm. Arm down and left side. So we can symmetrize later. And it will take the latest, uh, I mean, it will rename. So, okay, I'll just do it here. Click here on the wheel on the gear icon and create opposite. So it will create this, this it doesn't look nice now, but yeah, it's, uh, if you check here, it's same blend shape, it's the corrective. So it's important that you understand that the corrective is the one that you, you get to correct in a specific pose, not to look beautiful and the, um, like the 
by impose. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. So probably this is one of the um, one that needs more correction and usually maybe I do several rig, uh, rig sorry, uh, blend shapes to correct this one. So it's um, I mean it's deforming currently in the interpolation. Uh, for the video I'm just gonna do one and later we will review how it looks and in, if it's needed we will continue adding more blend shapes or in between so we can have this looking nice. Um, there is, I mean, if you want to do like a good corrective blend shape, probably you, you, the best thing you can do is study anatomy and study modeling. There is some really nice classes on the internet or online. I really like, for instance, uh, Andrew with uh, the 3D characters. It's doing a great, great stuff there, and it's quite affordable. I think it's um, probably one of the best uh, curves that you can get. And he tackled many, many things, including rigging. He has his own system that's really nice, also. Oh uh, yeah, and probably, and it's re he's a really good modeler, so and animators so he knows what he's doing and there is all other like for um, like ZBrush you can find a ton of uh, classes okay so this one is there so just arm front left so front is I mean in the case the, the, the movement where, it, where it's going so from there to there so it's not like super, super nice, but it's good enough. Okay. Um, I have oh, to give frame with this. Okay, this one. Uh, this one, it's something that um, in the regular um, situation you will not have. Like no, normally to pull your arm this this high, you need to pull from your shoulders. But this is animation. So sometimes animators does this crazy stuff and. Why not? I mean, it's possible, so let's do it. Okay, let's um, first smooth out sometimes. Yeah, I try to smooth out first. And then uh, just correct after. But again, this pose is unnatural at all, so whoops. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. I just wrong shortcut. Yeah, there we go. And just adjust in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna select this so now it's centered there. As you can see, I'm, I'm using a lot of shortcuts. Uh, hotkeys in my as hotkey. That's a different name for the same thing. Uh, the um, I think Adu did a really nice video about uh, hotkeys on his class on or probably I don't because I watched his videos on this on his website the ones that you have to pay for and also he has a lot of uh, free videos on on YouTube and I don't remember if that one was. The, the premium one or the free on YouTube, but you can check and it's it's really um, uh, really really um, interesting because he explains the importance of making our really nice hotkeys and how this will speed up your productivity and flow and it's important because I'm just gonna save the flow it's um, it's like the other day with the other video that I was trying to to model something in Maya that if you, if you have this kind of situations where your flow is totally destroyed so you, you just fighting against the tool instead of having a nice flow that you don't think what you're doing you mostly just do it without uh, like thinking on that like it's like riding a bicycle or driving uh, when you, you did it enough I mean, many times you don't think on, on that, or like walk. You don't think you can do other stuff while you're walking, like thinking 
other stuff. So if you do nice hotkeys and you work on that and it doesn't need to be copy anyone, just think what is better for you and your flow will be much better and then everything will be easier and more enjoyable if if you don't do hotkeys and you just looking for menus well you will do the work but probably it's gonna take ages and it's gonna be annoying and um oops yeah, here this pose for instance it's one that again it's super unnatural I mean well probably some people can do that it's kind of weird but yeah I saw some videos some people is super flexible I can honestly if I do that you uh, yeah I'm gonna break oh yeah okay so this is arm back and left Okay, just remember save your work often. Okay, so now we continue with the arm. So I'm just gonna take this. So when I like okay, load the, the mesh here, so it can properly handle the symmetry, just in case. Okay, and I'm gonna start with this. It is elbow 90 degrees. So edit mode. And here, yeah, you can work more on the um, probably on the gimmick part also. So if you if you want to do it with um, gimmick joints, it's um, probably you can get also a nice result. I kind of like to do it more with um, plane shape in general. And I have the experience in, in production sometimes. It depends. I mean, everything has uh, like advantages and disadvantages. So any techniques, it's perfect, of course. And uh, the best thing you can do, I guess, or I, I believe it's that you choose whatever is better in the moment. So for instance, if, if, um, I'm working to export to game engine. Uh, probably the um, the um, the corrective blend shape, depending of your game and so on. Maybe it's not the uh, ideal for all the situations, or you don't want to abuse this because it's 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 more expensive than uh, maybe bake the animation on uh, game mix. Um, but if you work on uh, for feature films, sometimes um, okay. This is, sorry, I'm just gonna put ninety. So I know this is the ninety degrees position. And for this one, I like to to do it trigger on the um, on the ninety degrees. So I put ninety degrees on. So this one is gonna be additive from ninety degrees. So edit there. So it's important. Sorry, and I was saying like, yeah, for feature films, sometimes um, the depending of, I mean, the the qual like the like budget, probably the you have more or less time to to do it. I'm not talking about Disney or Pixar or this big blockbuster thing that, yeah, not everybody works on that. And the vast majority of feature films, animation feature films, are not in this uh, league. There's many, many feature films, independent or uh, more modest budgets that, but you, you, you have to do the best you can in any situation. So if you have the art director, the director of the movie, like asking for very specific uh, correction, like I want this shape, this, this silhouette in this pose that doesn't work. So if you're working with, um, with the um, only gimmicks, the biggest issue will be that in some point, I mean, the, giving, the gimmicks give you control with say driving keys or uh, RBF uh, solvers that trigger different positions based on different situations, uh, but you have a limit. I mean, you have a limit of control. Well, if you do it with uh, corrective lane shapes, you have the ultimate control because 
Um, the uh, this is just checking the sorry, hundred forty. So you have control per point. So that's it. That's simple as that. And um, because this control per per point, you can do whatever they. I mean, if it can be model, it, it can be do it in on the rig. That's that's the power of corrective lens shapes. And there is other techniques, of course, but. Uh, probably this is the most accessible one, especially if you have uh, shapes, because it makes everything super easy to do. Okay, so continue. And other brace. So, yeah, if you do it like that, and you can uh, just check in the time. You can do these corrections very quickly, and uh, everybody is happy. And of course, if at the end even with that, for some situations, you, there is a specific pose uh, that you cannot reach the, the, the desired position or have some conflicts. You always have the ultimate uh, solution that it's shot sculpting, so you go per shot, per frame, and you brush the pose. And probably there is not too many tools out there that help with that thing. I uh, saw so some like some like plugins or tools, open source, but they're not yet there. Uh, I remember I saw something. I think Blur Studio has something there on his uh, uh, free tools. But I don't know even where. where where to get that one? Uh, I think it's not in GitHub. It's somewhere else. In, but you can Google it probably. And I saw some some really nice like uh, there is a demo on Hotel Transylvania somewhere also in the internet. They do a lot of uh, shot sculptings because it's especially I think it's the well almost all the characters they are super crazy animation. And, um, and yeah, they, they do this, this, there's a video there that they do this shot sculpting, very, yeah, very impressive. And the tools looks really nice. And that's for me, that's the ultimate, uh, animation system. It's just go and tweak each one of your frames with a perfect silhouette and a perfect, uh, pose. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the wrist quickly, and just to keep the video shorter, I'm gonna keep the the finger for the next one. So it's not like super long. You can do that, but I guess maybe I I do some of the corrective off camera or of, of record, so uh, you don't have to see me brushing, or maybe I will accelerate the f next video, so it's easier to to follow up and yeah because I whoop, I'm not the ultimate modeler as you can see I'm having also my hard time here to try to talk to making this so boring get slightly not too bad shape and keep everything quick yeah. Not 100% happy with this one, but well, I mean, it's better than the default, clearly. So uh, this is going to be a wrist, uh, wrist up, left, uh, okay, and I'm just going to save here, and I'm going to stop the video, so you can recap with this one, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.